Paige Manning is a student at the University of Dubuque. While working in the field this summer at Walter Woods and Prairie's Environmental Stewardship and Retreat Center, she spotted this tick and immediately knew it wasn't a typical deer or dog tick. I look down at my hand and I see this tick that's on my hand and I was like, that doesn't look similar to any other tick I've ever seen before. And um, I looked it up and saw that it was a male Lone Star tick. Lone Star ticks are typically found in the southern half of the state, but this marks the first sighting in Dubuque County in decades. Not long after, a student intern in the field with Manning spotted this tick that also looked unusual. And we decided later that it was a Gulf Coast tick, which we had no idea could even be in this area. We'd never even seen it before. By the end of the summer, two Lone Star ticks and three Gulf Coast ticks were discovered at Walter Woods and Prairies. So we let the Iowa Department of Public Health know, right, so that they can report kind of where things are located and then um, can share that information with individuals that need to know that we have the stuff in the area and that the ticks are present in Dubuque County. And then from there, that can go to the CDC. It's kind of exciting just because like now we get to kind of see um, why are they here and what's going to happen. Because now we have four tick species in the area and we want to see how are they going to kind of play out and see if, you know, one kind of overcompetes the other. Both species can transmit disease-causing pathogens. The Lone Star Tick in particular is linked to alpha-gal syndrome, which can trigger a red meat allergy. So that one, yeah, it's shocking and it's odd. And then it, Lone Star Ticks can carry a few other things, you know, different pathogens, the bacteria, viruses that just generally make you feel cruddy. For now, researchers at the university will keep monitoring the area and they're urging Iowans to stay vigilant of ticks when outdoors. As long as they do tick checks on themselves after they go outside and um, get the tick off in a good amount of time, tick diseases are preventable.